Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Wednesday, August 14th, 2019, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From Bleeping Computer, multiple implementations of the HTTP2 protocol are vulnerable to attacks that could consume sufficient resources to cause a denial of service. In all, eight vulnerabilities have been found that affect 40% of all websites on the internet today. Information and links in the article. From Bloomberg, Facebook has been paying hundreds of outside contractors to transcribe clips of audio from users of its services. In Facebook's admission of the charge, they outed Apple and Google for the same procedures. Facebook's stock is down over 3% today as I read this. Meanwhile, the folks behind GDPR are thinking about opening a new wing at the bank. From Technadu, the troll dash ransomware is seeing a rise in the past couple of weeks, mainly getting propagated through compromised websites. Malicious actors are sending emails and messages on social media, tricking their victims into visiting the infected URL. See a link to the full report on Technadu. From Bleeping Computer, researchers have found a zero-day vulnerability in the popular building controller IntelliBus Manager from Delta Controls. It is used for managing various systems, including HVAC, alarms, or even pressure levels in controlled environments. The McAfee research is in the article. And from ZDNet, beware your dating app. Grindr, Romeo, and Recon have all been leaking the precise location data of their users. Not great if you're trying to avoid that second date. The 3 Fun app was not only leaking the locations of users, but also their dates of birth, sexual preferences, pictures, and chat data. Gee, if I wanted all that data out there, I would just go on Facebook. That's all for me today. Have a great rest of your day, and until tomorrow, be safe out there.